oh, we're going to meet someone amazing who's coming to visit. And then we're going to get into all of the quick fixes and ways to catch yourself. We're not just going to talk about like what sucks because that wouldn't be very useful, but I hope you saw yourself. So really quickly, um, we're going to let her speak a bit about herself, but Natalia is going to introduce her. her. Um, thank you for coming, Natalia. And I'm so happy to have her here. I'm, I like love all my clients so much. I'm always like, oh, I miss you. How are you? I'm so happy to see you. Hi, Steph. Hi, Nadine. Hi. I'm so happy to see your lovely faces today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, so, I mean, what kind of introduction do you want? I'll give the alignment introduction, I think. That's probably a good one. So my name is Natalia Loback. Um, you can see here, uh, you know, a little bit about me and sort of how I found my way to Kickstartology. I'm a small business owner. I launched a consulting firm focused on organizational change in 2019. And I am also a uh, Canadian national amateur pickling champion and a musician <laughs> and a mom and a bunch of other things. Um, and so I think there's a couple things like uh, I'd like to just quickly hit oh. off. Um, so, so excited, Steph, that you were talking about pushing the boulder up the hill. I mean, you have my number, you know, that used to be me. Um, I also think about it. We always used to talk about white knuckling. That was my thing, right? So I, the way I handled life was I was the person driving down the 401 last Monday when it was snowing cats and dogs and crazy. And I am white knuckling through the snowstorm and I would pull into a rest stop and I would be like, okay, I'm just going to take a break. I'm going to go on vacation. I'm just going to take a break. And then I'm going to get back on the highway. I'm going to white knuckle my way back through. So that was how I was handling life. And it really, you know, it wasn't sustainable. I launched the business in 2019 and that first year was a year of incredible change, but it was also a year of incredible fear. And uh, I actually connected in with Steph and Nadine at the very last in-person event that I went to before the pandemic and, um, you know, connected in and I was like, you know what, this is something that I need to do. And it was the absolute best decision that I made because I worked through those reactions. I worked through the ways that I had been doing things that weren't working anymore. And yes, I used to stew in a brew of my own negative thoughts. And that is something I continue to work on, but the tools that you have given me have made such an incredible difference in my life, in my success, in my business and my alignment. So thank you for that. Um, You're welcome. What can I help you with? Like, how can I answer some questions? Yeah. Um, what totally. would you like I've to do? Some, we have some questions. And I just want to say one thing quickly. I do remember saying to you, what if you approached your business with the fun and excitement that you approach pickling? Exactly. And like the curiosity piece has been such a game changer for me. And I recently had like, and I'm sure many people who are on the call today have been experiencing the same things we've all been experiencing lately. So my kid has been on a very long winter vacation. Um, he you know, just went back to school. Last year was probably the hardest year I've ever had in my business. Um, and the challenges just kept coming. And a lot of times in the past, I would get paralyzed by the anxiety and the, and the challenge. And now it's curiosity. And, you know, what can I do? What's interesting? What can I, you know, chip off this big block that piques my curiosity? And where does this lead me? It's been an incredible change for me personally, and such an amazing journey. I love that. Oh. What? Oh. I don't hear Natalia anymore. Oh, no, I'm still here. She's still there. She just stopped talking for a second. I just stopped talking. Oh, and it looks like your mouth was moving because, oh, the delay. I'm watching the Facebook delay, not the thing. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, what's Stop happening? Stop distracting yourself. I've got you. Um, we are, um, so you talked about starting a business. Talk a little bit about that. Like today we're really focused on how to start when you don't know how. So you had this idea, like how did you start? How did you go from concept to actual creation execution? Um, that's in terms of getting out your own way. Cause yeah, like not the business, like business thing, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I assume you'd know that, but yeah, just getting out of my own way. Yeah. I mean, well, thanks for the redirect. Cause you know, that's, I think that was the hardest thing that I had to overcome was getting out of my own way. And I would say, you know, in the first year of my business, I did what I knew. And so 
I had already done consulting. I sort of know, I sort of knew how to do it and I did what I knew. So I went in, I uh, picked up some contracts and, and that's how I did it. So I just started by giving it sort of getting my foot in the water just a little bit, testing it. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't everything. And, you know, as I got into working with Stephanie Dean, that's where I started to figure out what those long-term goals were. But, you know, I would say like, it's not easy to jump off that cliff. And sometimes I, I feel honestly in my business, I was kind of pushed off the cliff a little bit. So it's something I had been thinking about for a really long time. And then circumstances happened. And I was like, if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it. Mm -hmm. So here I go. Um, but in terms of like doing the harder things, like getting better clients, aligning my clientele and my work more with the vision, getting out of my own way was tough. And um, it still is in a lot of ways. Um, but I think just starting with something small, even if it's not perfect, um, and just doing one thing, one small thing is my strategy to get me started on the path I want to be on. Any other questions? I think that's huge. One small thing. So in, so I think it might be um, pretty scary starting. Like, how did you manage your mind? And obviously, when we give you some tools to, to do it, but talk a bit about like when the scaries come up and you're like, oh, I'm doing this. Like, what are some of the tools you, uh, you go to in those times? Oh, wow. So the thought work has been the one thing um, that I continually rely on and continually to, I continually go back to. So uh, I'll be completely transparent and vulnerable here. And maybe some of you on the call can relate to this. Um, I have an inner voice. Uh, I haven't named her, but she is my inner voice and she is extremely negative and hard on me. And she's negative all the time. And she says all sorts of really horrible and nasty things to me in my own mind. And what I've been able to do with the Kickstartology tools is the catch and redirect. You guys have been amazing with that because I now know when the inner voice is talking to me. I didn't know that before. I thought that was real, right? And, you know, having these thoughts come up, they're just thoughts, right? And the most amazing thing that I've realized about it is that you can change them. So, you know, why would I say horrible, negative things to myself? Why wouldn't I say yeah, actually you can do it. Or why don't you get curious about this? Or, uh, you know, and there's a number of phrases and thoughts that I go back to that are my touchstones. Um, that's been a real game changer for me. I what else? love Next. that. I love that stuff. Do you have a question for Natalia? Natalia, you nailed it. Like you just explained a bunch of things really well. And I just want to quickly, uh, Tell everyone that one of the cool things is we're going to give you at the end of this week a tool that in the past we have only given to Kickstartology members. And this tool really helps with exactly what Natalia is talking about. And so we're going to actually share it with you and how it works on uh, Friday. So stay tuned. It's a game changer tool. Um, it's a great starting point. So thank you, Natalia. It's so awesome. And let's have a little catch up soon because I miss you. <laughs> so. uh, Nikki, Nikki says she calls her inner voice Lizzo and I thought you would appreciate that Natalia. She says as in lizard ancient reptilian brain. I was thinking Lizzo the amazing artist and yes. I was hoping that you know what I think if I named my inner voice Lizzo um, I might uh, be a better cheerleader for myself. I kind of like that. I'm gonna name my Beyonce then. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Um, everyone on the call, you guys are going to just do amazing things with, this week. I'm so excited for you. And Stephanie Dean, I cannot wait to see you. I miss you so much. Yes. Likewise. We will work the on that. The one person who got me on skates this year. So thank you. 